The mystery surrounding the coronavirus becomes denser and denser by the day. As doubts arise about its origin, and everything seemingly points to biowarfare being waged against China. According to the medical journal The Lancet, the first case of infection dates back to December 1, 2019, and the person infected had not been to the Wuhan fish market. Further critical points have also been raised by some independent journalists. Now we know that in the Wuhan bio lab, the Chinese were experimenting with a modified SARS virus for military purposes. At least three other countries have been doing the same for years, the United States, Russia, and China. We found three news in this regard. The first news dates back to 2014, and it announces the construction by China and France of a bio laboratory for the research on infectious viruses in China. And guess in which city it was built? None other than Wuhan. The second news, which is connected to the first as of 2015, in which the Perbright Institute a British government-funded pharmaceutical company asks and obtains a patent for the coronavirus, that can also serve according to the patent as a vaccine to prevent respiratory lungs disease such as contagious bronchitis. The third news is about the Bill Gates Foundation funding biotech companies that are trying to develop vaccines against the deadly Wuhan coronavirus. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and others predicted up to 65 million deaths via coronavirus, in simulation ran just three months ago. I wouldn't be surprised if both the US military and the CIA were directly involved in the development of the deadly coronavirus strain. Bear in mind, the 2014 Ebola outbreak came as a result of another rogue US military operation in Africa in which the Soros Gates funded Kenema Bioweapons Lab in Sierra Leone was involved. Surprisingly enough, this rogue U.S. military operation came shortly after Mark Lambert's appointment as the new U.S. ambassador in the United Nations, as an effort to prevent and thwart China's aggressive influence over the U.N. Security Council's future decisions. And John Bolton. What was he doing at the Gates meeting? Welcome to the Atlantis Report. Everything apparently points to biowarfare being waged against China. The culprits are the Western powers, namely the U.S. and Britain. The objective is to put stress on China in a combined effort to contain her growing power and influence. The tool, the coronavirus. The best bioweapons are not going to kill everyone immediately. They burn through too many hosts and die out. Best to make a virus that infects everyone and causes the infrastructure to fail with massive numbers of the sick. Kinda what is happening in China right now. Look at Ebola, it kills too fast and dies out relatively quickly. Coronavirus, officially called the novel coronavirus 2019 NCOV. Its contagion is a respiratory illness, a new type of viral pneumonia, in the same family of infections as SARS and MERS. It is highly contagious, up to two-week incubation in patients with no symptoms. Just the perfect recipe for a global outbreak. I doubt any country is prepared for this. Wuhan a city of 11 million is completely shut down, is estimated to have over 25,000 confirmed cases and over 43,000 infections. Wuhan lockdown doesn't really help to stop spreading in other major cities in China. Chongqing can be the most affected, followed by Beijing Shanghai Guangzhou Shenzhen. China has over 50 million people on lockdown right at this very moment, just give that a little bit of thought. Over 50 million people. And by the way, China is always lying about figures and statistics. The coronavirus is way more grave than they make it seem. Millions of Chinese are stuck in cities in complete lockdown. The first case in Germany was just reported. By now it is spreading across the states and Europe. Meanwhile, most stocks are hovering around their all-time highs. Remember that after the SARS breakout we went down to minus 40%. And SARS was nothing compared to this one. This is the moment to prevent getting a hit with your pension money. I suspect there will be follow-up releases until desired population levels are achieved. If they released this there is nothing stopping them from releasing engineered smallpox, Marsberg, anthrax and so on. Or God knows what kind of chimeras they have created. And rising speculation it was engineered could be steered by the US as an accidental release from the level 4 facility 20 miles from the fish market. Extremely slick. Wonder if she has it figured out. Probably. It's a dead certainty Putin has. Another article by the blacklistednews.com reports under the title, Did China Steal Coronavirus from Canada and Weaponize It? 
Last year a mysterious shipment was caught smuggling coronavirus from Canada. It was traced to Chinese agents working at a Canadian lab. A subsequent investigation by Great Game India linked the agents to the Chinese biological warfare program from where the virus is suspected to have leaked causing the Wuhan coronavirus outbreak. Coronavirus arrived at Canada's NML Winnipeg facility on May 4, 2013, from the Dutch lab. The Canadian lab grew up stocks of the virus and used it to assess diagnostic tests being used in Canada. Winnipeg scientists worked to see which animal species can be infected with the new virus. The research was done in conjunction with the Canadian Food Inspection Agency's National Lab, the National Centre for Foreign Animal Diseases which is housed in the same complex as the National Microbiology Laboratory. In March 2019, in the mysterious event, a shipment of exceptionally virulent viruses from Canada's NML lab ended up in China. The event caused a major scandal with bio-warfare experts questioning why Canada was sending lethal viruses to China. Scientists from NML said the highly lethal viruses were a potential bio-weapon. Following the investigation, the incident was traced to Chinese agents working at NML. Four months later in July 2019, a group of Chinese virologists was forcibly dispatched from the Canadian National Microbiology Laboratory NML. The NML is Canada's only Level 4 facility and one of only a few in North America equipped to handle the world's deadliest diseases, including Ebola, SARS, coronavirus, etc. People have speculated that there might be a connection between these two events. Perhaps, they wonder, that the Chinese have been stealing the weaponized viral agents. Perhaps, they wonder, that they were caught and then expelled from NWL. But maybe something else was going on. Perhaps, something else that had to be done in secret and kept away from the Chinese scientists. Three months later. On October 18 the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security, in conjunction with the World Economic Forum and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, brought together 15 leaders of business, government, and public health to simulate a scenario in which a coronavirus pandemic was ravaging the planet. Major participants were American military leadership and certain neocon political figures. The Chinese were not invited. The members took notes, and then returned to their day-to-day -day operations. Two months later a very similar coronavirus pandemic hit China. The first occurrences in December thus appeared to be of minor concern. The incubation period has not been definitively stated but, once infections began, the spread was surprisingly rapid after the first case was confirmed. The initial symptoms were mild, which permitted many people to travel before stronger symptoms were detected. On December 31, 2019, the World Health Organization was informed of an outbreak of pneumonia of unknown cause detected in Wuhan City, Hubei Province, China, the seventh largest city in China with 11 million residents. As of January 26, there are over 2019 cases of 2019 NCOV confirmed globally, including cases in at least 20 regions in China and nine countries. Did Trump trade war went viral? For some reason, ever since the Trump trade war, China has been hit with unusually dangerous and lethal germs, viral agents, and illnesses that have attacked livestock and people. Asian lineage avian influenza virus. China's African swine fever outbreak is unprecedented. Unusual virus strains caused a flu outbreak in China. Just Google for viral outbreaks in China. Ever since President Donald Trump became president and incorporated neocon war hawks on his negotiation team, China has been racked with all sorts of new, novel, and unusually lethal strains of viral agents. All of which cripple the Chinese people, food and livestock. Keep in mind that this was during the peak of the Trump trade wars, and at a time when remotely operated drones were spraying swine flu and decimating the Chinese pig population. The swine flu was in fact propagated by drones in China. As strange as it seems, the complete collapse of the pig farm industry in China in 2019 was propagated by drones. This is why so many isolated pig farms became infected. The official narrative talks about Chinese gangs using drones to spray the pigs with flu to devastate the pork industry. Chinese criminals have been intentionally spreading African swine fever to force farmers to sell their pigs for a low price before smuggling the meat and selling it on as healthy stock, state media has reported. The disease has reduced the country's pig herds by over 40% because of mass culls designed to stop it from spreading further according to the South China Morning Post. 
One of China's biggest animal feed producers says it has reverted to using a radio transmitter to combat drones. Half of the world's pigs lived in China before the epidemic began a year ago. The latest estimates are that roughly 300 million to 350 million pigs have been lost to the disease. Have you ever heard of this? It's using technology to destroy an entire national industry. And it's blamed on criminal gangs. I know that gangs are powerful, but why would they ever want to destroy a national resource? That is like Tony Soprano conspiring to sink every container ship in every port in the United States. It does not add up. Could this all be part of biowarfare against China? And this is not the first time a biowar is waged against China. The employment of biological warfare against the Chinese by the Japanese military had a long-lasting impact in China. The Chinese also claim, whether sound or unsound, that the United States conducted biological warfare offensive operations in China and North Korea during the Korean War 1950-53, alongside with the evident fact that between 1950 and 1972, the U.S. possessed an operational biological warfare arsenal. For all the naysayers out there calling this the common cold, or comparing it to SARS, let me remind you. 1. China never before locked down a majority of its most populated cities, just think about the economic impact that is going to have before this peaks. 2. From November 2 to February 3, SARS infected 8,000 and killed approximately 800. In half that time, we are already 50% plus there. That is if you even believe the official numbers. 3. I believe the theory that 99 to 100 thousands plus are infected and thousands have died. 4. The U.S. isn't even quarantining or really stopping Chinese flights or people coming into the U.S. from these areas. In other words, many have gotten through. 5. It is likely already in India and other countries. We aren't even looking at those flights or people. And what about the economic impact? The Chinese economy is at a crossroads. They're losing a trade war. The party is losing control starting with Hong Kong. The outbreak is a welcome opportunity to seize more properties and exercise more control. I can't even imagine what the Chinese are thinking right now. Number 1 They have lost face with the entire world. Their entire markets for manufacturing, production, and distribution are totally crushed. 2. They are probably wondering, was this their Pearl Harbor, that is happening right now. And 3. Who the hell is to blame for this and retaliate against? I think the Davos crowd now considers runaway global warming to be a dire threat to their future and China a dire threat to their hegemonic control. Release an engineered virus in the right place at the right time and voila. The BRICS forming their own financial system, their own kind of SWIFT, their own internet, their own world trade currencies. This divides the world and yes this is a very healthy step out of a dark killing system. The cabal losing control over their own casino fake money system, even that they possess the fastest computer systems in the world. Deeply desperate sucking greedy to draw more and more more and more wealth out of the world actually. Let's drop a virus bomb and for our chosen a clean vaccination patent. Wow that's scary and that's why we look away from darkness instead to look and face it. The governments do not give two shakes of a fly's ass about you or your loved ones, most likely the only one who does is yourself get prepped right now. Extreme isolation seems to be the best way to survive this. My respect to the Chinese citizens, they are fighting the situation with such high discipline, most western comfort zone poopsers don't have any more. This was the Atlantis report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.